So after about four Instagram polls and about four months of deciding if I want to start a YouTube channel, uh, I've decided I do. I have no idea if I'm going to have an intro. I don't know really, to be honest, what this video is going to be. But I'm Ed Baxter and welcome to my YouTube channel. I guess the best way to start off this video is for anyone who you know doesn't know me personally or hasn't come over from my instagram or my twitter or something like that is to let you know who i am i'm 22 it's alive 23 it was my birthday last weekend i'm 23 i currently live in loughborough which if you're watching from somewhere that's not in the the uk that's in the east midlands of england it's about bang in the center of the uk so yeah i live in loughborough i live on my own i like music i really like rap hip-hop um, generally, that's my kind of genre. Um, I kind of, I don't, I'm going to say that I like other things. I love all types of music, but I really don't. I like playing Xbox with my friends. You know, that's a really good way for me to chill out. I don't know what I'm going to be putting here, to be honest. I feel like if you come to this video, you either probably know who I am or you've watched another video that's kind of explained something about me and you're coming back to watch this to see who I am. But yeah, I'm not doing a great job of explaining who I am or anything like that, but... Um, yeah. The biggest thing I've always said about when I do start a channel, if I started a channel, was I wanted it to have a bit of purpose. I didn't just want to do you know, vlogs. I didn't want to just make videos of my day-to-day -day life because, well, it's not really that interesting, to be honest. It's quite boring. And I don't know. I just feel like I want to kind of have a purpose to any videos that I do make. I think one of the big motivators for me to make this channel is that, you know, with social media, everyone talks about, you know, not being fake and not putting filters on and not using, you know, Facetune with their photos and stuff like that. But it doesn't take away from the fact people still only post the really good parts of their life. And I'm not saying this is going to be a really depressing channel. And I'm going to post about how I feel so down and depressed all the time. But I think that everyone has problems. Everyone has struggles. And, you know, I try my best and be really authentic on social media. I don't actually post that much anymore since I've stopped swimming. Um, but I think it's really important that people are just really honest. You know, I have problems just as much as anyone else does. I have challenges. I probably have even more challenges being honest than, than most people do. And I think it's just really important that that message is shared. And, you know, whether that's a young person who's in sport, that's a young person who wants to get into their own business or whatever that is. I just think it's so powerful to have you know, someone to someone to share that message and, and be really honest about the fact that there's going to be loads of challenges. It's going to be really difficult. And, you know, it might not be, it's, it's not what it looks like on social media most of the time. So I was a competitive swimmer from the age of six. Um, you know, that's when I joined swimming club and started doing, you know, internal swimming club competitions and, and was a competitive swimmer all the way until I think age 21. That was last year in 2020, just at the start of the coronavirus pandemic. When we went into lockdown, I decided to stop swimming. Um, I'm still calling it retirement. I had a career that was, I was a pretty good junior swimmer. I found a had a really hard time transitioning into a senior athlete. Um, if you're not a swimmer, it's it's not that confusing, but I'm not going to go into detail. A couple of people each year get to go to the really big competitions, whether that's an Olympics, a World Championships, a European Championships. Some of the best swimmers in the whole world, you know, world record holders were in my event in my country, uh, Britain. So it was really hard for me to break from a really good junior into a senior uh, athlete. So yeah, and I really struggled with that transition. I found it really hard. Um, that was a really squeaky forward. So I retired from swimming because a few years previous, I'd actually started my own business. And then from that, a couple more businesses had grown out of it. And I just felt like my passion was moving away from swimming. I'd, it was a coaching business I had, and I was running some camps and you know it was all based around swimming. So my passion was still in the sport, but it wasn't for my personal, you know, being in the sport that was really important to me. Um, I'm sure I'm going to do a video, you know, on my on my journey of, of where I've been in with my business right now. I think one of the reasons I wanted to make these videos as well is, you know, over the last few years, I've been in, I've had such an incredible journey. Um, like I said, it hasn't all been good. A lot of it's been really bad, probably more bad than good, to be honest. Um, but I really want to just kind of document that journey. And I think, you know, it's really powerful to not just do it in a few years time and put a video out saying, you know, we've grown an incredible business. We've, we've kind of changed the world of sport or whatever it is that's, that's going to happen in my life over the next few years. 
I want to kind of take people on that journey. I'm a massive believer in not just saying, oh, look how great this has been. I'm a massive believer in going on a journey with people, taking people on a journey and, you know, might get one view, might get 10 views. But, you know, one thing I've really realized over the last few years in my business and people I've spoken to through sport is that, you know, if you change one person's life from doing something, then it's probably worth doing, you know, whether it takes me an hour to make a video, a day to make a video, whatever it is. If that's had a positive impact on one person, then to be honest, it's worth it for me. You know, I'm not creating this channel to get views. I'm not seeing this as another business idea or a source of income for me. It's literally just to kind of share my journey and, and document it for a bit of my benefit. Cause I'm interested to see how, I'm interested to watch this video back in two years, three years time, but I'm also interested in kind of sharing it. Um, and helping people along their journey, if possible. If I don't help anyone, then fair enough, I'll probably stop making videos, but. I think one of the reasons that I've wanted to make this channel and one of the things that I think is really important about my life is I've had a lot of different life experiences. I'd say a lot more than the average person. Some I'll probably go into a bit more detail in these videos, um, some I definitely won't be going into more detail about, but yeah, I feel like I've had a lot of, a lot of life experience and I've, you know, I've experienced loads of different things. I'm a massive sufferer of highs and lows, so I love massive adrenaline rushes. I love having a really good feeling. Um, but then if I hit a low, it takes a lot of energy and it's really hard for me to get out of those lows. Um, so yeah, I wanna I want be really honest about things like that on these videos. Again, I'm probably gonna go through some kind of video around my educational journey, I'm not too sure. It was very unconventional. I left school at the age of, th uh, sorry, year three. Yes, yeah, so I was homeschooled, I didn't go to university. I've only got two GCSEs, um, I've only got English and Maths. I studied all the different subjects, but I only sat the English and Maths. So I haven't had the normal, you know, school, secondary school, um, A-levels into university or anything like that. So like I said, I've had a very unique journey so yeah, I'm not 100% sure on what this channel is going to be. It could be what I'm getting up to in the day, but I want each video to have a purpose. And I really do want to make sure that I have some substance to each video. It's not just um, going to the shops today, I'm doing a food shop, which is really horrendously boring and no one wants to see. I don't know if the videos are going to be spaced by a week, a month, hopefully not a year. I don't know where the motivation to start channels come from. I've mentioned a little bit around, you know, how I think people are portrayed on social media and the fact that people seems there seems to be a bit of a stigma around the fact that people have challenges and even people might not be using filters or face tune or something they're still only posting about the parties they're pretty, well not in covid but about barbecues and having a nice time with friends and reminiscing about really good times and not about the times that you know being really challenging and difficult i'm not saying that i'm a guru or i'm going to change your life or even that i'm that good of a person but i just think i've been on a very different journey to a lot of people as everyone does you know everyone goes on their own journey and Everyone has their own path through sport or through work or life or whatever it is. I just think, you know, why not share it? If it helps one person, then it's probably worth it doing for, for my perspective. But yeah, um, welcome to my channel. No idea if there's going to be an outro. No idea what the next video is going to be, but um, I hope you've enjoyed. If you'd like to let me know what you want to see. Um, I really don't want to turn into one of those vloggers. I really don't want this to be like, like, comment, subscribe. But if you could comment what videos you want to see, that'd be great. But yeah. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to kind of go on this journey and, and see how things progress over the next couple of years. But if you've got this far in the video, then you must be pretty bored. But yeah, thank you very much and I'll see you soon.